He spit the mouthpiece out and, and, and bit me on the ear on the last time. You know, the whole thing is that, the whole thing is that, you know, really, he, the only chance that he thought he could is just to go. My whole thing is that, you know, the whole thing is my ear bleeding. And, uh, and this guy continued to foul. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that we have a referee like Mill Lane see the situation that this thing is in tension. So wh why do you have to bite somebody? If you feel that you can whoop me, why you can't whip me with the gloves on? Well, this is a boxing match. This is not a, a, a rumble. When, when, when the fight is over, then you get brave and you really want to fight. I'm saying, you know, you, know, you had a chance to fight. You know, why you got to bite me on my ear? The whole thing is that, you know, it, it, it's not real. You know, my whole thing is that I just give praise to the Lord that it is not worse than it is. I thought my ear had fell off. All right, thank you, Ferdy. We are outside of Mike Tyson's locker room. There is utter pandemonium going on here. Finally, a little bit of some quiet. John Horn, the co-manager of Mike Tyson, joins us right now. John, this is a scene like we have never seen before. It was totally out of control. What is the situation inside of that locker room, and, and can you ascertain why Mike bit Evander? Well, I'm not going to even comment on that until I see what really happened. But all I know is this. Evander has been headbutting Mike for two fights. Headbutting is a foul, a complete foul. But it's been happening so often, so long, that when a person headbutts another person, cuts both of their eyes, it becomes a common thing. And it's okay to let that go. I mean, this was, a was, this, enough, was this a retaliation? No. It, it turned into, Evander turned it into a street fight a long time ago. A long time ago, and I'm not going to even get off into it until I understand everything and see what happened. And all I know is Mike got a cut over his eye, three inches long. Evander got a little nip on his ear that don't mean nothing. Mike and wanted to line, He jumped around like a little bitch. That's what he did. Okay, now, now, now and Mike didn't do nothing. Mike didn't complain. He didn't say nothing. He didn't ask the man to stop the fight because headbutt's been going on so long. He been, it's, it's okay, but it's a foul. This you can't bite anybody, fight. regardless. I didn't say he bit nobody. I well, said we got to. I said when I look at everything, was well, determined. It's, it's, it's but it's very it's clear. Right. Mike got a three-inch cut over his eye. It's not for a punch. Okay, so therefore, what can I say? One is accidental, and, and it no, appears as though. No, come on, please. One head, one head, but maybe accidental. Fifteen is nine. What would you have liked to have seen done by Mills Lane? This was I the referee like of your choice. I would like to see him let the fight go. The air ain't got nothing to do with his fight. He had a little cut on the air, man. The air ain't got nothing to do with the fight. It ain't got nothing to do with his arms, his no. legs, his hands, his body, nothing. You, you don't Mike need to scream at me. You don't need to scream at me. Mike you don't got need a to cut over his eye. Okay. Mike got a three-inch cut over his eye that, that the blood would penetrate to his eye, blur his vision, and everything. Now, I understand now, Mills what... Mills Lane, I, let, me, let me clarify it for you, since you don't know what Mills Lane has said to us. Mills Lane said he didn't disqualify him for the first bite because he was willing to let that go with a two-point deduction. The second bite, however, at the end of the round is what he said he had just had enough. Well, I'm gonna have, I, I, I have to see everything involved first. I can't comment on, that, on, on no bite or whatever the case may be. All I know is Mike got a three-inch gash Are over Are you unhappy eye. with the referee, Mills Lane? Not at, not at all. Okay. Has nothing. No, 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 not at all. I'm unhappy with all the headbutts and stuff for two fights. Mike done been cut four times by this guy, neither time by a punch. Now you tell me what that, what that is. That's all I know. Everything else I'm going to have to see about, I'm going to have to go over. I don't know nothing about that. But he turned into a street fight a long time ago. The tapes clearly show that I'm being told in the first fight that Mike caused the butts, and, and that was ascertained. In this one, it was an accidental butt, or though it appeared, although it appeared, what would you have liked to have seen done at that moment? It's too late after the fact to bite somebody. What would you have liked to have seen at that time? All I know is this. There was nothing wrong with Evander Holyfield that would have kept him from performing. That's all I know. Okay. So, I, so I, I can't but, comment But on you're not else. unhappy with the referee? This was your referee? No, I'm not unhappy because I don't even know all the terms yet. I, everything happened so quickly, I don't even know all the conditions. All I know is my fighter got a three-inch cut over his eye. Okay. Can, can we talk to Mike Tyson? No, not right now. Mike has Don? a three-inch cut he has to take care of. Thank you very much. Okay.